Your teaching might decide this for you, but we will consider if you are going to cut around the profile of the image or have a rectangular or regular boundary around your work. Now this old print I made when I was at secondary school, I was using um, old inks that were left around in the studio, so that's why it's such unusual colours. And if you notice, it's got a rectangular shape. Here's another example with a square shape, and this one dates back from 2012, but that was the shape of the lino. Now this piece of work happens to be an etching, but it illustrates the same point that I'm making about the owl. If you notice, the fish are both cut out. There is no rectangular background, and we can do this with the lino. That's the rectangular background, and this is the rectangular section I'm proposing I'm going to cut away. Some of the sections down the bottom I'd have to consider quite carefully, but essentially you'd have to make sure that you have an outline all around cut so you can cut down a groove with a pair of scissors. So what you do is you take your scissors and you cut with the heel of the scissor. Now, to feel what I'm talking about, if you take your fingers and you close them and you put your finger here, just close them at the same rate, and your finger there, you feel the difference in pressure. So you know at this point you're going to get a much harder cut. So somewhere where there's an edge point, I'm going to put the scissor into the groove. That's the important thing. You're not trying to cut through a thick piece of lino. You've put it into the groove and I'm cutting round. Now I've got some quite good scissors because I use scissors all the time and tend to find that a good pair of scissors is very useful to me. So I can cut off excess pieces. Now some of these pieces are a little bit fragile and they might just snap off because this lino will snap. And we don't want to do that. While the hessian on the back holds it together, we don't really want these cracks appearing. So into here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve, leaving it intact, and I'm going to carve the excess away. Now this is a little island between its legs, so that piece just needs carving away. And these pieces, I'm just going to take the excess off. So I've just cut around these sections, but left the hessian in the background. Now I'm going to take my scissors and using the heel again, the heel of the scissor, I'm just going to cut off any excess. Now here I'm just going to do a line of best fit. You know what I mean from by line of best fit on a graph. I'm going to just cut along the base here. I'm probably going to cut this piece out with the lino cutter. I'm going to cut across these toes. back into the groove. So I'm never at any point cutting through a really thick piece of lino, a solid piece of lino with the scissors, I'm only cutting into the groove. This will blunt most scissors, so you need to bear that in mind. So at this point, I can see a little bit of surface in there and in cross section, there's the hessian at the back, a bit of lino, and there's a little bit of surface texture like this. Now this might pick up ink with the ink roller, and if it does, little bits of ink may appear on the surface of these ridges. This is used with some lino printers and it's called chatter. There's like little flecks of marks you might see in the back of a lino print. If you don't want them, what you would do, is you would just take that slightly lower. Remember the whole point of this is to keep it intact, the hessian back intact, so it gives a little bit more strength to this section down here and it's less likely to snap. You see, I just slip there. Now, one thing we've just discovered when doing this, obviously it doesn't sit as neatly onto here. So you have to be quite careful when you're positioning and cutting if you've done this sort of cut out. So I'm now ready to ink and print. And one thing you can do, remember, is just take a pencil at a shallow angle. So it's not steep, it's shallow on the paper. And do like a little rubbing. This is just a bit like you do with a brass rubbing. You could use a material like a crayon. You can then just check if there's any bits like this little piece here I might cut away. You can do it to the whole profile to check your overall shape. Now these things, these little bits like this, are useful if you're doing GCSE. You might keep these bits to go in your sketchbook. You might then write a couple of notes, like a little diagram note of something you were going to do. Because this is revealing the process and how you design and modify as you make. So I'm just going around the outline, having a little look at the overall shape. So 
I'm fairly happy apart from this little section here, maybe a little bit there I could just modify too. I'm going to look at that section just see if that's my bad rubbing or if it needs a bit cutting away. So I've just gone back and I've done another rubbing that has slightly improved from here and this one I've taken away that little error there. So in the next video I'm going to ink it and print it.